Hey guys, so the Lionel Volume 2 2018 catalog crept up on me. I had no idea this thing was coming out. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. First thing, we have this Vision Line Challenger here. Kind of basically a remodel of the old one, just with new legacy features, that's all. And they have some more paint schemes here with no elephant ears and elephant ears. They also have the, um, the Union Pacific one in these daylight colors, what it looks like. And then they have some water tenders. Um, for all of them. Then they have some box cars and stuff for the Challenger in the Lion Scale line. So then you have this Norfolk and Western Brass Hybrid. Um, and then on the next page you have the 611 and all of its other models. I don't think I'm going to get this one yet. Uh, because there's some other things that I would rather buy. Like this, the Ursa Light Mountain. Not the Mikado, the Mountain. There's a difference. Uh, I'm probably either going to get the Frisco version or the l &N version, possibly the New Haven or the Southern, uh, but I don't know yet. Then they have these uh, Southern Pacific A6s, which are 442s. I'm probably going to get one of these. If I do, it's probably going to be either the Illinois Central, the Union Pacific, or one of the Southern Pacific versions. Probably this top one. And then you have the Warren G. Harding Funeral Train. I don't think I'm going to get this. Uh, I just don't like it. Um, then we get into some diesel engines. We have some Alco PAAA sets and some B locomotives. We have some RS-11s. I might get one of these. If I do, it's going to be the LNN. We have some SD-40-2s. I really want to get uh, one of the Fear Xs, if not both. And then we have some C-44-9Ws. I really want this one because I've already had a sighting of it about two or three months ago when it first came out. I didn't even know it was out. I just saw it. It was late at night. And I just saw it had a red cab and the white logo in the back, and I just didn't know what it was. And then the catalog came out and I realized that it was the new 8520, so I really want that because I've already seen it in person. Don't think I'm going to get anything else. Uh, then we have some bunk cars, uh, I think for either army. It's tool cars and bunk cars for like when they're working on the railroad. Um, kitchen cars with sounds, and then you have some PFE reefers. I'm probably going to get the other one to have two station sound reefers. Then we have some more 86 foot box cars. I'm probably going to get the CSX one. And the Union Pacific one and the CSX one with the graffiti on it. Probably a couple of the 52 coil gondolas as well. Um, most likely going to get the PNLE one or the Union Railroad. Then we get into some passenger cars. Here we have a bunch of Southern Railway passenger cars to go with the Southern Train, the Southern Pacific, and the Sunshine Special. The first set's just a plain set. The other sets have one normal car and then one other Army car. So there's an Army, Marines, and... Uh, Navy. Then on this next page, we have an RS-11 and some passenger cars in a Halloween theme. I think this is going to be pretty cool. I probably won't get it, but I might. There's one other cool thing I want to talk about, though, that's near the end of the catalog. That's this. This is the defect detector track. It is a semi-functional defect detector that plays realistic sounds, even though they aren't quite realistic. Um, they just make up fake stuff, but it does count actuals. And um, does give off uh, no defects or, you know, some defects. So I think that's pretty cool. I do want to get that. I think it's going to be really fun to try out. And then we get into some S-Gage stuff. So yeah, good catalog. There's a lot of stuff I want to get. Don't know what I'm going to get exactly, but uh, but yeah, there, there's only some nice stuff in there. I haven't been able to work on the layout any at all yet. And I haven't been able to get any reviews out because school started and that's basically taking up my life now. Um, I'm gonna try to do my best to get some videos out sometime soon, and maybe some layout plans, but I don't, but no promises. I don't know how well I'm gonna succeed in that. Hopefully these engines are of better quality than Lionel has been in the past. I've known that they sent out some engines that are non-functional when you get them. Hopefully they're fixing that, and it's gonna be much better. That's all for this video. I'm Sam, and I'll see you next time.